guys, it's Ro. Today we are going to be making something that I got a ton of requests for. Today we are going to be making a mirror cake. For those of you who aren't familiar with a mirror cake, it's a very specific type of glaze that's very reflective. And I've also been getting a lot of requests for a galaxy themed cake. So I'm going to combine both of those things today and I'm going to be making a galaxy mirror cake. Let's get started. The things you will need will be two six inch round vanilla cakes, eight ounces of white chocolate. The type that I'm using is Coverture. I've tried other types of chocolate and it just didn't work as well. One cup of sugar, half a cup of cold water, and then a separate measurement of water, which will be a quarter cup of water. Half a cup of light corn syrup, half a cup of sweetened condensed milk, five teaspoons of powdered gelatin, some vanilla buttercream frosting, food coloring, depending on what colors you want to make your cake. You can make these any colors, but because I'm making a galaxy cake, I'm going to be using black, white, navy blue, electric blue, purple, and pink. And then lastly, this part is optional, but I'm going to be adding a little bit of edible black disco dust. The first thing that we're going to do is level our two cakes. Remember, you can use any type of cake that you'd like, but I am going to be using vanilla because I love vanilla. And I'm just placing it on top of a piece of parchment paper so that it won't be on the table. And I'm taking a cake leveler. It's got a little wire in the middle and little feet. So you just put the feet down and then you saw back and forth. And you're going to take off the top, which is the best part. It's like the muffin top. So good. You can crumble this up, put it in a little container and make cake pops with this. So you're going to save this for another treat. The top is leveled. Now we are going to cut it in half. So with our little cake leveler, I've moved it down a few more notches and lined it up so it's hitting about halfway through. Doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Now you're going to do this to your other cake. Cakes are leveled. The next thing that we're going to do is assemble our cake. In front of me, I have a little turner. Which makes it a little bit easier to frost and a little cake board. I got this one at Michael's But you're just gonna need something that will be the same size as your cakes then over here I've got some vanilla buttercream frosting that I put into a little plastic baggie and I just cut the end So you just put a little bit in the center so that your cake won't move pick up your first layer Place it in the middle and then we're gonna cover the top with your frosting get out of here you fly If we can for a fly you're not allowed. I'm just gonna lightly smooth then you're gonna put on your next layer and then frost again smooth it out then for the top layer we're gonna actually flip it upside down so that the baked bottom is on the top after your cake is assembled I just popped mine in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes to set and chill again before I frost and I'm just gonna cover the whole cake the top and the sides with frosting cake is totally covered and frosted now using a big offset spatula I'm going to smooth it out so you're just gonna plant your little spatula here and try not to move the angle and then spin the cake around it will create a really smooth finish all the way around if it's not perfect the first time around you can swoop it around again then on the top I'm just gonna smooth it out and now I'm gonna spin it around pushing the frosting out to the edges and you'll see that a little bit of frosting is hanging over the end and that's okay because then we're gonna turn our spatula like this and scoop it up our cake is completely frosted and now we're gonna set this in the refrigerator for two hours to completely set and chill and while it is setting we are gonna make our mirror glaze which is what makes our mirror cake a mirror cake the first step to making our glaze is we are going to bloom our gelatin so you're gonna pour all of the gelatin into the half a cup of cold water and then with the spoon we're gonna stir together and you'll know that it's ready when it looks like applesauce and then I'm gonna set it off to the side for about five to ten minutes to bloom then in a medium-sized saucepan we are gonna add our quarter cup of water our light corn syrup and our sugar then I'm gonna whisk together until well combined and then take this mixture over to the stove turn your heat to medium low and cook for seven to eight minutes your mixture will slowly begin to boil and dissolve your sugar once ready turn off the heat and go back to your baking station our mixture is hot and fresh off the stove so be very careful this saucepan is really hot still now we are gonna add our bloomed gelatin then we're gonna whisk together next we are gonna add our sweetened condensed milk and whisk together one more time our mixture is ready and now we're gonna
going to pour it into a bowl with our chocolate. And this is still hot, so I'm going to be using an oven mitt. Since it's still hot, we're going to let it sit for about two to three minutes right here and let it melt the chocolate. Our chocolate has softened. It is ready to mix. I'm going to be using a handheld immersion blender. You can just use a regular hand mixer. That's fine. But I really like to use this type of blender for chocolate because it gets things very smooth. You're just going to turn it on and mix it up. <laughs> the power! Our mirror glaze is now all mixed and over here I've got another medium sized bowl with a strainer on the top and we're just going to pour the mixture through the strainer to catch all the little air bubbles or chunks, anything that wasn't smooth. I'm letting it drip in there because I want all the mirror glaze I can get. <laughs> Now we're gonna split it between five bowls for our different colors. And now we're gonna color our mirror glaze. And this is where you can pick any colors you'd like. If you'd like to make a rainbow mirror cake or a tie-dye mirror cake, you can pick any colors. So for this one, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of navy and a little bit of black. Here I'm gonna be adding six of electric blue and two navy blue. For this one, a couple drops of pink, a little bit of purple, and a little bit of electric blue. Then over here, I've got five different spoons and now we're gonna mix them together. Be sure to move quickly as they set fast. My colors are all done and I am so excited because now it is time to pour these over our frosted cake. Our cake is ready to become a mirror cake. I just took it out of the fridge and I placed it on top of a little vase. I had a very small vase. If you don't have a little vase, you can use a little cup, whatever you have around your kitchen. And then I placed it on top of a cookie sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper so that when we're pouring the glaze, it will be easy cleanup. Over here, I've got my base glazes so whatever color you want to use for the base coat I'm gonna be using the dark space color and the darker blue I'm gonna pour the blue into the space blue then using the spoon I'm gonna give it a gentle swirl but I'm not mixing it together just giving it a little swirl and then we're gonna pour it on the top of the cake and let it drip all over the sides we're gonna cover the whole cake with this base coat of glaze I'm gonna start on the top and it's just gonna drip over the sides oh Ooh, you guys look at that if you were just doing a single color or a two-tone color you would just stop here and let the cake set but we're gonna be adding some extra details to really look like the galaxy another helpful tip is you'll want your glaze to be at about 90 degrees temperature I have a little candy thermometer so you can stick it into the glaze to make sure that it's 90 degrees if it's hotter than that it's gonna be too thin and not stick to your cake if it's colder than that it's gonna be a little thicker and a little clumpier it won't spread as even and if they cool down you can just pop them in the microwave and stir them up to make them warm again. Then I'm going to take the lighter blue with a spoon and I'm just going to pour across to get some cool detail and a little bit of purple. Just have fun with it. You can make it look however you'd like then the pink. Once you've got your colors on the cake, now I'm just going to take a very big spatula and very gently brush the top to kind of evenly blend the colors. I'm going to be moving with the streak. Just be very, very gentle. You don't want to expose the frosting. Over here, I've got the black disco dust and a little paintbrush. And I'm just going to dip the ends into the dust. And then I'm just going to flick it on top of the cake. It's adding this really cool shimmer effect. It looks so cool. It looks shiny and shimmery. Lastly, using the same brush we are gonna dip this into a little bit of white food coloring over here in this little bowl and we're gonna do a little splatter <laughs> just like that it's a little bit of messy but it's very fun because we need stars in our galaxy yeah now we're gonna let our cake sit for about 20 minutes to let the excess glaze drip off after your mirror cake has set you can transfer it onto a serving tray or a serving plate and the bottoms are very very sticky so if you've transferred it and there's any imperfections on the bottom this part's totally optional but I'm gonna be adding a little traditional cake border all the way around the bottom edge to hide any imperfections I've just got some buttercream frosting with a star tip at the end Ta-da! Here is the galaxy mirror cake that we made today. A big thank you to you guys for suggesting this video. This is the first time that we have ever made a mirror cake before. I love it. It's so shiny and glossy and you can see your reflection in it. Oh my gosh. There are so many different possibilities. You can decorate it so many different ways. So if you guys make a mirror cake, please take a picture and send it to me. I just love seeing your baking creations. It makes me happy. It just makes my day. And I'll be posting pictures of this cake that we made today on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. If you have any other ideas for any other types of videos you'd like to see me make, please leave me a comment down below. All right, thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.